Now that you know how to properly sit, and you know the difference between a rest and a free stroke, I'd like you to start fretting the guitar by placing the fingers directly behind the frets and performing a simple chromatic scale. The first thing I want to, to um, define for you is how to hit the string. We're going to be using rest strokes in succession using index and middle fingers. This, these notes. The left hand will be placed behind the first fret with the first finger, second fret with the second finger, third fret, third finger, fourth fret, fourth finger. So you have a finger per fret. And you go up the chromatic scale in this fashion, starting with the open string. And then you descend by lifting your fingers up. Now, when you're playing with the left hand, you want a little bit of separation between the knuckles. You want your, your fingers curved, pointing towards the strings, and your thumb is back toward the in the middle of the back of the neck. Your wrist is flat. Let me demonstrate that again using alternation of the right hand index and middle fingers on the first string. Finger per fret. The chromatic scale, which is a scale of all half steps, is one of the best exercises for developing proper left hand shape and also contour of the fingers. Once you've completed the four frets, I'd like you to take it up the neck this way and then to the ninth fret. So we started on the open string up to the 4th fret, shift to the 5th fret, which is also called the 5th position, and then the ninth fret. I'm using rest strokes all the way up, alternating, and then descend. I'm taking a little bit of time between the shifts so that you can orient your fingers, keep the alignment, and, and make the change. Now when you, when you shift up or back, you want to keep your fingers in the same shape. So once you have them, once you have them stretched across the four frets, you just carry those fingerings on up to the fifth fret, and then the ninth fret, and, and descending, same is true. For now, I want you to put all your fingers down in this fashion. Now, I took a little bit of time between the shifts, but when you get fluid at it, I'd like you to eliminate those pauses and play it in this manner. This chromatic scale can be one of your daily warm-ups just to get your fingers used to fretting before you actually start your pieces. And I would recommend playing it on all six strings.